Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I want to come on here and talk about the whole Carrie Hilson situation. So if you guys do not know, Carrie Hilson is currently trending because she's putting the 5G conspiracy out here, okay? We spoke about it briefly on my live stream where we talked about, you know, 5G and the effects of the human body. Well, now it's very interesting, okay, to see a celebrity try and tackle this topic. So a lot of people's tin hats are tingling, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what Carrie Hilson wrote on social media, plus the video that she posted as well. So I want you guys to go ahead and check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. So Carrie Hilson says, 5G was invented in, you guessed it, China. It launched November 1st, 2019 in 50 Chinese cities with between 86,000 to 130,000 5G base stations by the end of 2019. The three largest network operators worked together in a race to be first, only five months after retrieving the 5G licenses. Those vids we saw of people in China literally dropping dead out of nowhere, eerily close to the November launch. In the 2019 documentary, Bill Gates himself warned of a global health pandemic that would originate in China. Researchers and organizations have done studies and made petitions and issued warnings on the dangers of 5G over the past few years. A quick search will produce them. Residents of Australia have also filed assault charges against phone companies and won. Lastly, while we're wondering if the virus was resistant to melanin as Africa went untouched for quite a while, could it have been because Africa is not a 5G region on a whole? If some African countries have launched pre-installed 5G network bases as of yet, there's certainly not as many as on other continents by far. I saw the vid on my friend at Shocker Bar's page this morning and researched the entire day. Not sold? It's a lot. I get it. That's fine. But Google or YouTube the effects of 5G, EMF exposure, electromagnetic frequency, and radio frequency radiation for yourself. And to those like me who want to take any measure of protection against it, although the towers are more dangerous, you can protect your home and family by going into your phone, by going into your phone settings to disable LET under the cellular data option, which knocks your data speed down to 3 or 4G. Top right corner will show which network you're on. Also, turn your phone on airplane mode or power them off when not in use or while you're asleep and keep them away from your bodies as much as possible during the day. I'm not an expert on anything. This is a think piece. The post intrigued me and illustrates a possibility based on facts alone. And please watch in its entirety before commenting. I'm sure we all got time today. Any thoughts? Yes, we definitely have time today, cuz, okay? Today I got time, cuz. Today I got time, cuz. All right, so you guys just heard me read what Carrie Hilson wrote. So on top of that, she also posted this video. The video is about six minutes. I want you guys to go ahead and check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Every pandemic in the last 150 years, there was an, a quantum leap in the electrification of the Earth. In 1918, late, uh, late fall of 1917, there was the introduction of radio waves around the world. And then starts in World War II with the next pandemic, with the introduction of radar equipment all over the Earth, blanketing the entire Earth in radar fields. First time humans have ever been exposed to that. In 1968, there was the Hong Kong flu, and we put satellites emitting radioactive frequencies in the Van Allen belt. Within six months, we had a new viral pandemic in the last six months with the electrification of the earth. And I'm sure a lot of you know what that is. It's called 5G. If anybody want to make one guess as to where the first completely blanketed 5G city in the world was. Exactly. In 1918, after the um, uh, huge, biggest pandemic, the Spanish flu pandemic of 1918, Steiner was asked, what was this all about? And he said, 
Well, viruses are simply excretions of a toxic cell. Viruses are pieces of DNA or RNA with a few other proteins. They butt out from the cell. They happen when the cell is poisoned. They are not the cause of anything. And the cells get poisoned, they try to purify themselves by excreting debris, which we call viruses. If you, if you go to the current theory of viruses called exosomes in the latest head of the NIH giving a talk on the complexity of viruses, you will see this is perfectly in line with the current thinking on what a virus really is. Every pandemic in the last 150 years, there was an, a quantum leap in the electrification of the Earth. In 1918, late, uh, late fall of 1917, there was the introduction of radio waves around the world. Whenever you expose any biological system to a new electromagnetic field, you poison it, you kill some, and the rest go into a kind of suspended animation so that, interestingly, they live a little bit longer and sicker. And then starts in World War II with the next pandemic with the introduction of radar equipment all over the Earth, blanketing the entire Earth in radar fields. First time humans have ever been exposed to that. In 1968, there was the Hong Kong flu, and it was the first time the Earth has a protective layer in the Van Allen belt, which essentially integrates the cosmic uh, fields from the sun and the Earth, from the moon and Jupiter, etc., integrates that and essentially distributes that to the living beings of the Earth. And we put satellites emitting radioactive frequencies in the Van Allen belt. Within six months, we had a new viral pandemic. Why viral? Because the people are poisoned, they excrete toxins, they look like viruses. People think it's, an, it's a flu epidemic. In the 1918 the, uh, epidemic, the Boston Health Department decided to investigate the contagiousness of this. So they, believe it or not, took hundreds of people with the flu and they sucked the snot out of their nose and injected it into the healthy people who didn't have the flu and not one time could they make the next person sick. They did this over and over again and they were not able to demonstrate contagion. They even did it with horses who apparently got the Spanish flu and they put bags over their head and the horses sneezed in the bag and they put the bag over the next horse and not one horse got sick. You can read about this in a book called The Invisible Rainbow by Arthur Furstenberg who chronicles all the steps in the electrification of the earth and how within six months there was a new flu pandemic all over the world. And when you invest, when you hear the normal uh, explanations, how did it go from Kansas to South Africa in two weeks? So the entire world got the symptoms at the same time, in spite of the fact that the mode of transportation was horseback and boats, and there's no explanation for it. They just say, we don't know how that happened. But when you think about it, with these radio waves and other frequencies that some of you have in your pocket and on your wrist, you can send a signal to Japan and it arrives instantaneously. So any of you who don't believe there is an electromagnetic field that communicates globally within seconds just is not paying attention to this. And I will only finish by pointing out that there has been a dramatic and quantum leap in the last six months with the electrification of the Earth. And I'm sure a lot of you know what that is. It's called 5G where they now have 20,000 radiation-emitting satellites, just like the radiation-emitting thing in your pocket and on your wrist and that you use all the time. That is not compatible with health. I'm sorry to say it, it's not compatible with health. That is a water destructuring device. And for any of you who say, yeah, well, well we're not electrical beings, we're just physical matter, then don't bother doing
All right, so you guys just heard what that man had to say. So this is causing a lot of conversation on social media. Some people are not here for this 5G conspiracy. Other people kind of see, you know what I'm saying, where Carrie's coming from. But I want to just kind of clear up some things. So Carrie Hilson is not saying that 5G is causing the coronavirus or that the coronavirus came from cell phones or 5G. I'm seeing people just throw anything out there. What her and what the scientists and many people are saying is this, okay? Remember we talked about this in my live stream the other day. What happened with this whole 5G situation is that every nation wants to prove themselves the most technologically savvy. And there was a race, okay, to the top to basically roll out 5G. Even though Elon Musk and several other, you know, techpreneurs were saying, you know what, I, I'm not feeling this whole 5G thing. We're doing too much with AI already. You know, we're getting ready to unleash the demons. You know, a lot of people were really uncomfortable with this 5G thing because why? Go and research how many people got sick when 4G rolled out, okay? A lot of people who live near towers got sick. They sued. They weren't feeling well. So people were definitely not here for the 5G rollout. A lot of people feel like 4G is fast enough. I can surf my phone. My internet speeds are fine. I mean, how much faster do we need it? In a minute, they're going to be able to teleport our souls out of our body through, you know, 10G. And that way we can be in a location within 2.5 seconds and then teleport us back into our bodies. I mean, that's why I feel like some of this stuff is going. But anyways, I digress, okay? So... The reason why people are kind of blaming 5G is this, because there was a race to roll it out. There was not proper testing on how the, the radiation, okay, they were dealing with radiation here that's emitting from these 5G bases. Nobody knew for sure how it would affect the people in these communities. So that's why you saw videos emerging from China where people are just, you know, standing around waiting for the bus, minding their business, trying to live their best life, and then they just fall over and what? die okay so initially people thought that a lot of those videos were from the coronavirus or you know this outbreak but now people are looking into it like dang maybe it's from the 5g one thing about 5g one thing about radiation is that it really suppresses and affects the immune system you can ask anybody who's dealt with cancer they can tell you that when they go to radiation therapy it really makes them sick and it's 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 a very hard process okay so these people in China are basically being hit with radiation on a continual basis. So now a, a pandemic occurs. The coronavirus comes and you can guess if it came from a laboratory, if it came from eating bats or the dirty ass wet markets in Wuhan. Your guess is as good as mine, okay? So wherever the coronavirus originated from, what we're saying is this, because of the 5G rollout, because of all this radiation emitting constantly on this population, their immune systems were not strong enough to fight the virus. Hence why the most deaths thus far have been in Asia, okay? Italy is, you know, they're dealing with a lot of death as well. They also have 5G in Italy. We haven't dealt with as many deaths yet here in America, but as we all see, we're under lockdown, okay? There, there's a, a curfew out now. A lot of cities, you have to be in your home by 6 o'clock. People are scared that martial law may come into effect. So it's a lot of scary things going on. We're living in scary times. But we also need to be educated. We also need to look at all angles, okay? So I think there might be something to this theory with the 5G affecting people's immune systems to where they cannot fight off the virus. So that's all that's being said. Nobody's saying that the virus came from, you know, cell phones or 5Gs. What we're saying is that this was rolled out with no type of testing. And now these people's bodies are being affected. And now you add a pandemic or a virus on top of that. They're unable to fight it. Whereas if the 5G networks were never rolled out by masses in China, a lot of people may have still been alive and been able to fight the virus in spite the fact, right? So that's all people are saying. All right, you guys. So if you don't know, there's been a very important update to this Carrie Hilson situation. It looks like about two hours ago, uh, she deleted her post. Okay, so this is what she posted on Twitter. She says, management has asked me to delete the vid slash article. 
I appreciate good discourse on unconventional thinking. Let's all just be safe out there because whatever the cause, the virus is a real thing. May God be with us. Prayers to all. So that so basically, long story short, she was punked. She was ridiculed and she was forced to take down her statement. But again, like I broke down in this video, if people really did their research. No one is saying that the coronavirus came from 5G. What people are saying is that the 5G, there is proof. There's, you know, scientific proof that it does weaken the immune system. And that's why so many people are dying and they're not able to fight off this virus. So it's really sad that, you know, you can't even express yourself without people getting so upset. And, you know, everything's a huge conspiracy. And, you know, people just want to dismiss stuff. But again, two months ago... These same people swerping down that it would never get this bad and that's China's problem. And, you know, there's no way this would be a, a global pandemic and look where we're at. So at this point, I don't put nothing past nothing, okay? I'm open to all interpretations. I want to hear all theories, you know what I mean? I want to know what people are thinking out there because we are in really trying times and a lot of people are going through depression right now. A lot of people are very, very stressed and sometimes people just need to get things off of their mind. So if this was what she was feeling at the time. She was just trying to express herself in hopes of trying to find like-minded people to talk to. So it's really sad that she was forced to take down that post because her and that scientist made a lot of good points but you know this is the internet bitch okay you can't delete shit because what tt got that shit screenshotted that shit and downloaded that shit <laughs> So this entire situation is very interesting. There's a lot of conspiracies out there, lots of information, some disinformation. But like I always tell y'all, don't take my word or anybody's word for anything. Do your own research. Do your own due diligence. I've been talking about this virus here on this channel for the past two months. We've been discussing it. We've been having a lot of thank pieces in the DMs and just things like that. So at the end of the day, you have to do what you need to do for your family. Stay safe. Wash your hands. You know what I mean? But look deeper into the situation. Don't just assume what you're being told is what the reality is. And I believe that there is some truth to what Carrie Hilson and this scientist is saying. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Carrie Hilson and her conspiracy concerning the coronavirus and 5G. I want to know your thoughts. I want to know how you guys feel about this. So let's go ahead and talk about it. So now, last but not least, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you thumbs up the video and make sure you hit that notification bell so that we can be down with the notification squad, honey. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.